company guy as well. I'm riding down Sunset to get a haircut <clears throat> and it's not open to the cars as of yet and I love it. <laughs> this is bizarre. <clears throat> this is bizarre. My car is a little low on air and my bike shop's not open yet but boy I dig this I'll tell ya. Hey where'd you come from? Well, here I am. I can't drive my car to get my hair cut so I decided to take my bike and as you can see I'm all alone on Sunset Boulevard on a Sunday morning <laughs> and I like it quiet ah, peace in the city every time I walk Evan I always tell him hey listen there's no cars it's quiet couple of bicyclists here and there. There's the back view. Yeah. It's easier for me to take my bike to get my haircut to get in the car. God, I'd be lost in oblivion. I don't even know where, where to go. So, there we are. Vast majority of the runners, or all of them, should be gone at this point. Here's our little neighborhood. Different perspective. I like it. Here's the little center the city created. Summer Lake is very much community. And recently they allowed the, the community area to block the street off. Boy, this is bizarre. This is like a movie. And all the cars are trying to get on Sunset and they can't do it. Yeah, baby. Anyway, this was created recently. This used to be a street. And they painted it. Put up some tables and chairs and now it's like a little center. Um, very creative. That street. When I go to Trader Joe's, I go down this way. But all you do now is you go down to this corner here and come back. So, I like this. It's cold. I got my shorts on, like always, but I got a pretty heavy jacket on. I like it. I like it. What a perspective. You never see this. Ever. This is like I just watched I Am Legend the other day with Will Smith and need to do is see some lions eat some deers over here and then we're, we're there. All the streets are blocked. Uh, I think by the time I get done with my haircut that'll change. But uh, this is simple. There we are. Here's our little taco stand. We used to go with Ava a lot. There is a record company, and uh, in fact, that little boy passed away the same thing that Ava did, neuroblastoma. He was eight years old. As a matter of fact, I got some papers yesterday from the doctor in San Francisco, and I only briefly read them, but basically, they want Perhaps all the parents of children who have been lost uh, submit to saliva tests. Uh, they want to see if there's any genetic link to, you know, the parents that have been tested, and, uh, and you know, the database, and then they'll say, hey, we see that sex, so many parents have this gene or whatever. So I understand where they're going with this, but uh, I might do it. You know, I don't know if Ali will do it, but I might do it. But it's interesting, yeah, they said, yes, we know that you have been, you have lost a child to neuroblastoma. And, you know, if you want to submit to this test, it will help us, which means they're still fighting the fight. So, 
Anyway, I am almost at my supercuts. This has been the shortest trip I've ever taken down the street, I'll tell you that. Right. Keep it all day. I'll take it all day. Very, very nice. Here's a few people still, and there's the cops back there. So basically, they're... Be before they they uh, open it up completely, I guess they want to make sure that everybody's got their opportunity. Here's the last little bit of stragglers right here. And boy, they're stragglers. Everybody is way ahead. But that's the city for you. They want to make sure everybody's got their shot. So, anyway, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> Here's El Cid, very famous. This used to be a uh, studio way back in the day. Very famous place. I like it. Go downstairs. Uh, it's like an old school club, like a supper club. A lot of things in, in uh, uh, from a historical standpoint in this area. This is an old hotel. Obviously, it's been boarded up for years. Boy, if I had money, I would develop this thing. Mega Bundle. <clears throat> this is a very uh, trendy, they call it a hipster area. I'd make a fortune in that place. I know how to run a hotel. <clears throat> it costs a lot, but it's been like this for years. Yep. There's Grow and Grow, which is a children's store. We've bought clothes for Evan and Ava. This is a trip. <laughs> I sound like I'm all giddy, but uh, you don't get this much. Usually when I ride my bike, I'm going to get run over. Here's a McDonald's that we took Ava to, where she fell down off the thing, skinned her nose. Probably in 2004, 2005. Ugh, legs are getting tired. All the streets are blocked off. Got a runny nose. KCET, our public TV, which I love. It's about the only thing I watch. I got a million channels. I'm such a geek. I watch KCET, NPR, Moments of Supercuts. Here's a couple runners over here who aren't really running. Bike Riders Paradise. Easiest trip to Supercuts I ever had. Here's the last music station. This is an elaborate one. Music sounds good. Over here is my favorite little watering hole, Tiki Tai. It's been there since 61. Uh, I know the family, their grandfather started it. Very famous place. 50 years, I bought a 50 year mug. Little dinky place. I like it, I told them it's like Disneyland. Expensive. When you get a drink, you get a drink. Chavo, good, delicious food. A lot of good bars and stuff to go around here, places to eat. Um, I guess I've changed. I can actually enjoy them compared to the old days. So, here I am. Here's where Sunset turns into Hollywood. Down here, there's Rudy's. Never got a haircut there, it's expensive. Here's my little super cuts. I'm gonna ride a pinch longer. This intersection is a nightmare. And here I am. I smack in the middle of it. <laughs> well, let me dabble my nose and get a haircut. I'm gonna go back, take a shower. And like I said, the way this is looking by the time I get out of this haircut, uh, the street will be open. Back to business. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming along with my little ride with me. 